Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel today. It's Colleen. This is going to be a little reveal of something I made out of an Amazon package. And I just thought maybe you guys would feel inspired because it's truly um, how to make how to make things we would throw out into beautiful little treasures. So I want to show you what I used for the cover to begin with, what, what inspired me. I had received uh, something from Amazon and when I opened it up, I, of course, we don't throw out our packaging. I mean, I've had to start because I am overflowing in my craft room, but I just, just there was an extra little squish and it, it inspired me to, to turn it over. I scored a spine and I covered it up. Oh, I know what inspired me first. Um, Taylor Made Journals put out a fairly new printable kit of denim and lace. And I think some of you already know that. I started some signatures and I thought, what will I do with them? And then the Amazon package came and here we are. So here is the the full look of it. It's, it's So it's pretty tall. But it's adorable, I think, and squishy and just absolutely yummy. I'm going to share this with you after I share with you just the little odds and ends that I made to go with it. Um, so, in fact, I just finished this little piece, both of these this morning. I was going to do my video right away and then pieces were sitting in front of me. So I decided to create a couple of little accessories to go with it. So this was just a... Like you can see that it, it was just a, um, actually a piece of the, the remnants from the inside of this little pouch backing, the paper bag. Um, it was sitting like that undressed and I decided to dress it up and I added a little closure and inside are pieces of ephemera to go with the journal. And then I just wrap it around, go once and go twice, and we're done. So just a cute way to use up your garbage packaging. And inside here, of course, I just have to utilize every ounce of a printable. So I take my, my circle punch, my tab punch, and my whale tail punch, and then I just take pieces of the scraps left from a, a kit or something I'm working with and I punch out different. So we got some whale tail punches, we've got a couple of tab punches and a couple of circle punches because there was a little corner left on one of the prints so gotta get it all used up to, to be recycled. And so there okay so there's that piece and then there's this little pouch I brought the applique in for continuity and inside the pouch. I didn't glue the sides. Um, I'm leaving the options open yet. But inside, again, are pieces that I printed out onto cardstock to go inside the journal for... I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the journal yet. I have an idea, um, but I need to run it by somebody first. And these will be pieces that, um, depending on what I do with it, um, to be still used inside the journal. So I thought that was kind of fun. And if this goes to somebody, they can sew up the edges. And it's just a pretty little addition. Okay, so then we'll go right to the journal. So again, um, it's the Amazon, uh, Amazon packaging and it was squishy. So it had some of the whatever you want to call it inside. Sometimes packaging is, is uh, it's not padded. This one was, which makes it extra squishy. No, I really, I really tied this up. I don't need to double, double bow and that's what I had done. So this is just a piece of scrap sitting around. Whether or not I leave it with this, who knows. So there's a bottom pocket and an upper pocket. And um, 
yeah so i took i took two kits one was a, dig, a digi fit i believe a digital fit kit and i used a tailor-made journal her denim and lace kit so and then i just printed off a bunch of different tags that had a denim feel and some um, embroidery to go with the lace and the you know the frilliness of the journal so there's lots of fun tags to go in here and again the upper tag this spine is i want to say whatever i think it's a one inch spine that's right and i actually was able to get four signatures in there so and then of course i added some dangles so we've got a dragonfly and a fairy and a flower and a key and a bird partly to um you know keep some weight heading downwards so the journal stays closed okay so um inside it like it's it's loud um i just wanted to enjoy the process i wanted to just cr uh, freely create adding laces and appliques and things that lent itself to the linen and lace and denim feel of the journal so uh let's see where do i start so the inside has a pocket here not up here but i put some lace and applique and a little remnant of this piece here i put here at the bottom and i added some scissors a scissor dangle and it is a pocket so here is a g cur i believe it was a free printable and of course I always create space for journaling so it tucks in there i put the needlework scissor buttony theme in here because I think it lends itself to the style and then some more journaling cards takes I love this this theme this is a uh, paper daisy journals I believe she's she has some lovely um, embroidery feel kits so here we are signature one okay so I've cut up some lace and I did some trims it, the dangles catch a little bit, but oh well. And so there are several empty pages because I want this journal to be, <clears throat> excuse, excuse me, open for more creativity. So I left a little tuck here and a little tuck there. It's going to be hard to get this journal inside the video because of the height. Okay, get in there. I'll just stick them both up here for now or not okay so then I just got a bunch of <clears throat> the pages from the kit my own uh, no this is a printable coffee dye printable but I have put my own some of my own papers in here music sheet vanilla dyed so I get wafts of vanilla when I get lazy and I don't want to wait for a pot of coffee <clears throat> to cool I just take out my vanilla and I dye papers in vanilla. This is a beautiful kit as well. An old Sears catalog page. Middle of the signature. So there are lots of little pieces to use in this journal that I'm, this isn't done. I just, I did some prompts if this goes to somebody, then um, I did some prompts, and then, then that person can continue on. And here is a, a book page pouch. I just couldn't help myself. I love to make these. So that's what I did. And behind is a tuck. This is another denim kit, and I cannot remember by who. That's the end of signature one. So here's signature two, some um, used up some of my fabrics and whatnot. And a uh, vintage linen doily cut up, and then I added another doily cut up, <laughs> and then it's some trim, lace trim. Just 
I've had so much fun making this. So yeah, lots of ideas out there. I hope you're feeling inspired. Um, I, the one thing I like about a tall journal is you don't have to cut anything down. This was Happy Mail. I love it. Not all who wander are lost. And so there was some layering here. I thought it fit very well in this journal. Don't you just love these prints? Absolutely gorgeous. There are 192 pages in here, front and back. Lots of room. So if this doesn't go to the person I'm thinking of, um, then I will, we will do a giveaway. Um, I'm approaching 2,500 subscribers, which blows my mind. I've shared in the past that when I was encouraged to do a channel, I thought, oh my goodness, never. I could never do a channel. And then I thought, okay, because this person was very inspiring and very encouraging. So when I decided to create a channel, I thought, well, if I get 10 subscribers, then they will become my best friends <laughs> and I will love it. And I will be happy with 10 subscribers because we could all sit and craft together. Well, um, as you can see, my channel has grown. I don't advertise my channel very often at all because like I said, I was going to be happy with 10. So I am elated that there are that many people on my channel that seem to appreciate what I do and uh, enjoy the friendships that we can share via virtual friendships. I've learned so much from a lot of you. I love it. I've gotten to know many of you and I look forward to getting to know many more. And um, thank you very much for supporting my channel. I get the odd little, I know my hands are not pretty. I, I do get that. I, I've had a couple of people comment that if I could change my hands, I might get more subscribers. I don't do this channel to gain more subscribers. It's always wonderful. But yes, these hands are worn, but they they create. They cook dinners. They do dishes. My hands are well used, and I'm not a manicurist. And uh, so I apologize for those that are distracted by my hands. Um, but yeah, anyway, I wasn't going to share that, but it came up. So here is a tip up. It's, it's got lines and it's got lots of room for for uh, journaling. And more pages, just a variation of pages. Some are cardstock, some are um, just. Uh, I think I, I think I use hammer mill regular pages. They're nice and silky. So this ends the fourth journal signature, and then this is the back. So we've got a pocket uploading, an uploading pocket with some more applique and lace. And this is just probably the last piece of that little ruffle. And I put this cute little safety pin dangle. And another G curve print. And just another tape. And at the back we have more pockets and more tapes. Uploading but bottom loader. So that is the journal made out of an Amazon package. Nice and squishy. You can hear it. Let's measure it just for fun. It measures 12 inches tall by five and a half inches wide. So it's tall. But for somebody that really does a lot of journaling, this is perfect. 
um, a lot of us don't always journal. We sit and we look we look at our pretty little journals that we make. Um, I do I do use one or two that I journal in, but there are really avid journalers that would be able to really utilize the space and opportunities in here. I think. So stay tuned. Um, once I decide what I'm going to do with this, I will. Uh, like I said, um, if I end up doing a giveaway, then this will be what I put in the giveaway. And I will cut this because this is way too long. And the fun little accessories go with it. Isn't that just so pretty? And that's just one printable, folded over, folded down, back, back behind a uh, paper bag. And I added some applique just to keep it looking like a, a matchy matchy gift set. Okay, guys. Um, okay, one more thing I'll share is what else is on my desk. I, a few videos ago, took some junk mail and I made, I think I even did a little craft with me. It wasn't very long, but I just took things that you get in the mail, like those um, coupon things that fold open that had a bit of uh, strength to them. And then I just did some collaging and some Mod Podging. So these are signatures now. I covered the backs as well, or the fronts, if you will. So that's going to be one signature. And then there's this one. I think I collaged this with you as well. And then I backed it. And this is another signature. So I'm going to add, of course, some, some copy dyed pages in each one of these. Then I just put together this little cover. It's in process, of course. I will cover it up and then I will sew these babies in there and it becomes a little mini journal. And these are the off cuts, of course, that will also be a part of the journal somehow. So I've got that going on and I have this. I'm almost done. Not quite yet. This has been spoken for. This is a nice page ruffle here. Um, yeah, so I'm almost done this gentleman's journal, which has also been a great pleasure to make. And, of course, I will be doing a video this week using up my Get Art Punch Prompts. Get Art Creation Punch Prompts. And on the backs of each of these rings is a word uh, prompt by you wonderful, wonderful special subscribers that did donate names and phrases and words. I put every one of them on the ring and I have probably, I'm, I think, close to 75 already. Um, and once I start it, um, I will be sharing each prompt with you guys and who, who sent the word in and if they have a channel and advertising the channel. I'm so thankful. I feel so excited. I'm I'm a little leery yet because I have to be able to incorporate the words into the page, but um, I think we'll figure it out. If you guys want to send me more word prompts, you feel free. I'm always happy to, to make more. And I appreciate all your thoughts and all your contributions that way. And what else? I guess that's it for now, you guys. I got lots going on. Looking forward to getting these little projects completed. Thanks for watching this flip through. I appreciate it so much, you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay crafty. See you soon.